Here's how you can quickly get sign up information from anywhere that you can share instantly across your team. First, create a folder in your free Google Drive space, and then you're going to share that folder with your team. So I'm going to share this folder with two people who will then be able to access anything that's inside the folder. Now we're going to create a form and it will be shared with everyone in the folder. And now I'm going to title this form Campus Contacts. And then using the side menu, I'm going to go through and add some information fields for the different kinds of questions I'd like to ask. Now with email and with name, I'd like to set them to required to make sure that people who fill out the form fill out at least name and email. At this point, my form looks pretty good. So now I'll go to responses and make sure that the form is set to record information in a spreadsheet. I do this by clicking this button and I'll create a new spreadsheet. So now if I'm using my phone, you can see that the form is formatted to be very easy to use on a mobile device. You don't have to use a big laptop or something bulky in order to collect signups. Notice I didn't put my email in, so when I try to submit the form, it'll prompt me to fill in my email. Now I can submit the form. Went through. Now if I go back to my shared folder, then I can open up my spreadsheet and you'll be able to see whoever has signed up. And of course you can change the spreadsheet that all the data goes to in order to put in your own fields to keep track of things like who's going to follow up with this person. So here I'm going to create a new column and I'm going to assign the first person here to me. So this is our folder that we've created. You can see the spreadsheet as well as the form. Now if I open up the spreadsheet, one thing that's really nice is since multiple people are working on the spreadsheet, one thing that might happen is data could change or it could be affected in some way. So I'm just going to delete everything accidentally. But now I can actually look at a revision history, which is a great feature built in so that I can go back to any previous point in the spreadsheet and restore whatever was there. There's a lot more you can learn, but this can be a helpful tool.